I'm pretty pissed right now and it's probably not for the reason that you're thinking. So let's discuss what's going on in this market. And before we jump into the good stuff, I want to point out some of the bad stuff. So we've got Bitcoin ETF's largest outflow to date happening just yesterday were 564 million. BlackRock's ETF also saw an outflow for the first time ever, accounting for 37 million. Guys, of course, what like what were we expecting here? Were we honestly expecting us to have inflows forever for the ETFs? Like I just don't get it. We're in a correction, right? The ETFs give retail investors access to buy Bitcoin from their normal brokerages, which they otherwise couldn't have done. Now there is a pullback on the market. And for some reason, the mentality of the market is that all of a sudden, these generic retail investors, this is not you and me. This is the people who can't even be bothered to open up a Binance account or a Coinbase account. These normal retail investors for the first time bought a ton of Bitcoin. And now the market's pulling back. They bought it because someone told them at $70,000, this is the perfect time to enter. Now the market is at $60,000 or 57 in fact, part of my French, $57,000. And now they're panicking. They're selling. It's easier than ever for them to get out. We've got brokerages that are free. There's no fees on buying and selling. So of course they're going to get out. They're going to dump their bags just like they always have. And this is standard. All right, guys. So this is what's happening. This is why the market is continuing to not look so good. Although we are, of course, having a nice little bounce in the altcoins. Bitcoin itself today sits at 58,200. And like I said, I am pissed. I have all of these buys. I have two fair value zones that I've concocted myself for Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I've been hoping that it comes down to these zones for a while now. I've set up a bunch of buy orders. Specifically here, I have set up a bunch of buy orders for Ethereum in my leverage position here between uh, 2,400 and 2,800. A bunch of different buy orders because I want it to come here so I can get my positions better and get a better entry and we can make some serious dosh with very low amounts of money. That's my plan using leverage. That's why I use leverage so I can enhance enhance my gains. And right now we have Ethereum sitting at $3,000. I'm perfectly fine with the market being scared. Look, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. I didn't even realize the fear and greed index is in fear. Guys, Bitcoin's price is $58,000 and the greed and fear, fear and greed index sits in fear. This is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. This further bolsters my idea that this is absolutely an opportunity right now. If you've watched my last two videos that I've posted here on the channel, you would know that I have been buying this dip aggressively, right? I think that this is our opportunity and these are my regions, my fair value regions, 59,000 all the way down to a really 52,000 here. And then for Ethereum between the prices of 28, hundred and twenty five hundred anywhere in that region I want to be buying all right and guys like I've told you already I don't know what's going to happen maybe we crash off and ethereum goes to zero and bitcoin goes to zero and everything goes to zero but that's the risk I'm willing to take please do your own research before you come nattering down there in the comment section about everything going to zero but with that said what's going on with the rest of the market well we do have some interesting things playing out like this. Of course, the altcoin season is not here. We only have Bitcoin season. But if we look at coin market cap, we can see something interesting happening. We've got a small bounce, right? This could just be a relief rally, a small relief rally in an otherwise downward flowing market for the next couple of months. That may be what we're seeing here. So maybe you want to get out of here. That's not what I'm doing, but maybe you want to get out because you want to protect your downside. Better to sell on a day like today where we have 20% up on some cryptos rather than selling when everyone was panicking, right? But what we're seeing here is meme coins making a bounce, which is interesting. This means that there are actually still DGENs in this market that are willing to buy on the slight look of relief. So what can we do? We can find opportunities in this market. Of course, here on this channel, we do have our meme coin portfolio, which I'm still waiting for you guys to tell me what I should add to this. What should I add to this meme coin portfolio? Let me know. But this is our only portfolio. I'm pretty sure this one below and this one below. Yeah, this is our only portfolio that is still outperforming Bitcoin, which is insane. Meme coins are still outperforming Bitcoin, while every other portfolio that we have, the public portfolios here, are not outperforming Bitcoin. So we have $500 to spend, right? $500 that I took from Cock Inu to spend on meme coins. So I want some killer opportunities, right? What do you reckon? 
What should we buy here on this channel? Let me know where I should put this $500, the coin with the most comments down there, I will add to this bag, all right? With that said, there is one uh, project that has reached out to me to partner with the channel, and this is Solo. And what stood out to me about Solo is the same reason why these guys stood out to me. It's because they have a massive community behind them. I really like what these guys are doing. It's very interesting. And of course, look at this chart. It has been consolidating sideways since really the 1st of April. So we're a month into this consolidation phase. After really having a nice pump of like 3,000% after the initial consolidation phase. You can see here it had its initial pump, pullback, consolidation phase. So we're having another consolidation phase now. And hopefully the next pump is bigger than the last pump, just like this pump was bigger than the pump before that. But we don't know for sure course. We are in a little bit of a rally now. It is showing some signs of life. We are up from the lows that it found around 30% now. So this could be an opportunity that you guys just want to have on your radar. I will leave the links down there in the description if you guys do want to check Solo out. Of course, this is on Solana. You trade it on Radium and you understand the risks involved. It has about $350,000 worth of locked liquidity right now. And if we do jump over to their website, you can see it is, of course, a meme coin, the world's first Bitcoin ordinal inscription on Solana. So maybe something that you want to pay attention to there if that does interest you. Lots of interesting stuff here that we will probably break down a little bit more on the channel next time we check this out. But I will leave a link again there down there in the description. But what's interesting, like I said, is that meme coins are bouncing back, which gives me some hope in this market that we are maybe, maybe out of the water. Now, as you know, over the last couple of weeks, I have been bullish. I have been dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin and Ethereum very heavily. I have recently, just yesterday, when I felt the most amount of pain in the market, started to dollar cost average into our public portfolios. There is a ton of opportunity in this market if you can stomach the drop. And like I said, I think the best way to navigate this is by dollar cost averaging. By dollar cost averaging and understanding that the crypto market may fall a little bit more from where we are today. But like I said, I'm pissed that I didn't manage to get my buy positions. And I am actually hoping that this still happens. Okay, I am still hoping that we get a wick into this region. So I can open my positions that I want. And I can make the best of this upward momentum that I think is going to come after we shake out the majority of this market. The last thing I want to remind you guys of is our liquidations that now sit at a staggering 13.5 billion at the price of 72,000. Most of the market we can see from this chart is trading this short. Everyone thinks that the price is going to continue to go down. That leaves me with the impression that the price is going to go up because since when is everybody as a whole correct? All right. The greed and fear index. We are in fear. The liquidations tell us that everyone is trading the market short. Bitcoin's price is still trading within our fair value region. And I believe that this is our opportunity. Do not blindly follow me. Do your own research. Let me know down there in the comment section what you guys think is going on. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.